By the end of the day, my medication didn't seem to be working quite so well and I would often use, I'd got a mobility buggy that somebody was trying to sell and, and couldn't sell, so I bought it off them for, the, for our local branch. Um, and I found that was a great help because I literally couldn't walk through the bungalow, but if I could sit on the scooter, I could still keep going and I could stu still do what I wanted to do, albeit sitting on the scooter. And so that was... For a while, that was the way I got about in the evening. The, the very worst time was when I couldn't get out of bed in the morning and I would struggle to walk to the bathroom. I could feel the bones of my... felt as if I was walking on the bones of my feet, um, and very slowly, and almost as if I, it was t my body was too heavy to, to, to stand up straight. That and the feeling frozen in the chair and not being able to move and feeling like a statue and wanting to get out of the chair but not being able to, feeling as if you are glued to the seat, I think that was one of my worst, um, one of my worst feelings. And the general dexterity, I can be working with paperwork, or could be, and um, find one minute, and I, the next minute you can't cope with the paperwork in front of you or whatever it is you're sorting. And I just have to put, had to put that on one side until I felt able to, until I was on again. Going shopping with carrier bags and then having to hold on to your carrier bags and take the change from the shop assistant it's very difficult handling money when it's paper and coins just thrust into your hand and queues of people behind you tutting and wanting wanting you to be out of the way quickly. And I suppose the pressure of that makes it more difficult because you're conscious of those other people grumbling behind you. And that just slows things up even more. It's hard to describe some things, you know, and you used to think, how can I describe this so other people can understand? And, you know, the wading through water, the walking through water, that's what it feels like when... when your, your medication is wearing off um, and the, so the clumsiness and, and not being able to hold your body up as if your body's too heavy for you. Um, and I can remember feeling that I wasn't coping with it very well and I went along to see my Parkinson's nurse and she was very good. We talked through the problems that I was having, the slowness, um, the difficulty coping with things and um, we talked through the possibilities and we, she made suggestions with medication changes, which didn't work straight away, but we, we put a trial and error and um, I went on to different medication and that made all the difference to me. And I was able to sort of start rushing around again. Since I had the medication changes, my off periods are, are less. I've got young grandchildren that live with me and my husband and I go out and about with them, walking, perhaps not as far as I would have once done, um, but we, we enjoy going out together, go shopping, uh, lead a busy life, involved with the local Parkinson's branch, and enjoy going up to London. I have to pace myself more, but um, nothing, you know, I always, I can do whatever I've always done and enjoy it. I suppose the most noticeable thing for me is, is the getting up in the morning. I'm no longer feeling that I'm walking on the bones of my feet and can't get out of bed. I'm much better now, much more mobile, and that's a great bonus for me. Um, and the wearing off, I don't notice so much. It, perhaps in the evening I'm a bit slow, but for the rest of the day, since I've had the medication change, um, the symptoms seem much, much better, and uh, life is great.